uh, you can tell me uh, what would be a first step. Lowest common denominator first. So um, it's going to be x. It's going to be x um, parentheses x plus five. Very good. So you have to find the LCM or LCD, least common multiple or least common denominator here. So we factor the first one here. We get x times x plus 5. You're absolutely correct. So let's see. Someone else who's online, uh, can you tell me what would be the LCM? Hello? OK, Kevin? Yeah, well, I think it's going to be x plus 5 is going to be the uh, LCM. x plus 5, you think that's a LCM? I think so. Okay, how about x? What happened to the x? Hmm. I'm not sure. Okay, so the question is, what is the LCM between uh, x and x plus 5? That, that's the question, really. What is the LCM? That's what we want to know what it, that is. Uh, so if, if you relate this to uh, simple numbers, maybe make it easier to see what it is. Um, Kevin, if I wanted to find the LCM between uh, 2 and 3. Uh, can you tell me, this question is for Kevin, what would be the LCM between 2 and 3? Uh, I think it's going to be uh, 2 times 3. Exactly. The, L the LCM would be uh, 2, we're going to include 2 and 3 because uh, as you see 2 consists of 1, 2 and 3 consists of 1, 3 here so to find the LCM you would compare these groups of prime numbers and you pick the largest of all here you have 1, 2 here you have no 2 so there I, have to, I, would, I would pick uh, 1, 2 as a part of the LCM. And for 3, we do the same thing. So LCM would be uh, 2 times 3, which is equal to 6. So we, we're really doing the same thing here, except we have expressions here. So is it going to be x times x plus 5? Or is it x parentheses x plus 5? Mm -hmm. Exactly. The LCM oh. would be x times x plus 5. That would be the product of these two just like the product of 2 and 3 was the LCM. So this is how you find the LCM uh, between uh, these two. So it would be x times x plus 5. So once we find that, we want to make all these three fractions to have the same LCD. So the first one is already there, is x times x plus 5. Now, what do we need to multiply the second fraction with in order to have the same LCM? Uh, anyone with the microphone, you want to tell me what well, we have to multiply the second fraction with? X plus 5. X plus 5. Right. Cherie uh, says it's x plus 5, so I have to multiply the second fraction with x plus 5 over x plus 5. We're really multiplying the second fraction by 1 because, as you see here, x plus 5 over x plus 5 is 1. So we are not changing the value of the second uh, fraction. We just make it look like to be, uh, have, we have the same LCM. Uh, so uh, the next one, put plus here, what do we multiply the last fraction here with? Hello? Yes, Marvin, yes, go ahead. Oh, uh, just an X. X. 
Very good. So the the, the uh, exactly the last one would be just x over x. So now we have 10 over x times x plus 5 plus 8 times x plus 5 over LCD, which is x times x plus 5, plus 2x over x times x plus 5. So now we have the denominator the same for all of them, so we can uh, add them, add or subtract them, in this case adding. So we, we have to keep x times x plus uh, 5 here, and then we simply add what we have at the top of the fractions, 10 plus. We can go ahead and distribute this here. It will be plus 8x plus, so you just uh, simply distribute the numbers, 40 plus 2x, so that's what you get. So somebody can tell me what, what the next step would be here, go over the microphone. Combine like terms. Very good. We combine like terms. So if we combine like terms, what do we get? Go ahead. Uh, 50 plus 10x. Good. So we can write 10x plus 50 or 50 plus 10x. Okay. Uh, can I reduce this? Anyone? Yes, you can reduce it. Okay. Uh, to reduce this, what do we have to do first? Anyway. The top reduces to um, take uh, 10 out of it, so it's 10 parentheses x plus 5. Very good. So we need to factor what we have at the top of the fraction. And then, as you see here, uh, 10 plus 5 and 10 plus 5 reduces to 1. So we would get at the top 10 over x. That's how you simplify that. So once again, to add or subtract expressions like this. Catherine, go ahead. Okay. When you open your microphone, I'm assuming that you have a question, uh, then I stop. Uh, so let's go ahead, let's move on. Uh, so here uh, we have uh, to find the LCM, as we did here, and then you have to make all the fractions of the same LCM, so we can add them, and then we combine like terms, and then at the end we want to make sure that uh, if it's uh, factorable, if it is, we factor them and we reduce them to this. Okay, that's how you add it.